My name is Paolo, and from the 31st of August to the 3rd of September 2020, I cycled the Pilgrim's Way between the cathedrals of Winchester and Canterbury in England. The blog post that goes with this video gives more detail than I can provide in this few minutes, and also includes high-res versions of the photos I used in the slideshow. I hope you'll be also interested in watching the series of time-lapse videos of each stage of the journey that I'm putting together now, which will allow you to see the actual journey as it was. This will be coming in the following weeks, but I wanted to start with an introduction to whet your appetite. This was the shortest cycling pilgrimage I've done, but also the most unusual, because I agreed to be filmed by a German TV crew for a documentary about the Pilgrim's Way, which should air in 2021 in France and Germany. They filmed me at the start, arriving at Winchester Cathedral, receiving a Pilgrim's Blessing from Canon Andy Tranier, and then cycling out of the cathedral grounds. We also filmed at various uh, points along the way, and then on arrival in Canterbury, where I received a welcome blessing and the final stamp in my pilgrim's passport from Canon Emma Pennington. And then they finally filmed me literally cycling into the sunset outside the town. I don't know if any of that footage will actually be used in the documentary. This video is a snapshot of four days of places, challenges, people and moments. The slideshow is chronological, so it doesn't necessarily link to what I'm talking about at any given moment, but I hope it inspires you to read my more detailed blog post and later watch the videos of each stage, which will also include drone footage from along the way. So let's start with places. Much of the traditional route of the Pilgrim's Way follows a ridge along the North Downs, past lovely English churches, pubs and villages. The cathedrals of Winchester and Canterbury are obvious highlights, of course. The Nuns Walk Trail out of Winchester was beautiful, and St. Barnabas Church in Renmore was one of the prettiest of the many lovely old buildings. I really enjoyed hearing about the history behind All Saints Church in Botton Alep and the ride through Kingswood, just before Chillum, which is thankfully not as dangerous as it was in medieval times. I've watched a spectacular sunset from the English Memorial near Rygate, and the final ride into Canterbury from Charton alongside the Great Stour River was really stunning. And now to the challenges. From earlier discussion with Lee Hat, the author of the Walking the Pilgrim's Way guidebook, I knew that cycling would not be straightforward, because some of the tracks are exclusively meant for walkers. There were moments where taking a different route wasn't practical, meaning that I had to dismount and push the bike. It is this that has given me the idea of writing my own Pilgrim's Way cycling guide. So watch this space. Day 2 was the most challenging involving 75 kilometers of riding and two big hills. I hadn't appreciated that getting up Box Hill would involve dragging my bike up at least 150 steps. There were also numerous detours for kissing gates and stiles, which are great for containing livestock, but a nightmare to get through on a bike. After nine hours, I had ridden only 55 kilometers, although quite a lot of that time was spent taking photos and flying the drone. As I still had 20 kilometers to go, I rerouted onto roads and arrived in Westenham in the dark. But over the four days, even with all the detours, my actual route matched my plan route for perhaps 90% of the time. If my Pilgrim's Way cycling guide becomes a reality, the route I devise will be appropriate and enjoyable for cycling. No kissing gates, I promise. And now to the people. Particular thanks to my girlfriend Katie for her support. She was able to join me for the ride from my home in Bracknell to Winchester and also for the first day to Farnham. And then kept in constant touch to advise on alternative routes and uh, bike repair shops. Thank you too to my good friend Fernando who drove to Canterbury to pick us up. And then there were the four members of the German TV crew. Easy, who is actually Welsh, Michael, the cameraman, Sven, the audio guy and drone operator, and Mareki, the producer. They were true professionals doing their job, but we had some good laughs 
mostly as a result of my singular lack of acting ability. My sincere thanks to Canons Andy Trenier and Emma Pennington at Winchester and Canterbury Cathedrals respectively for their lovely blessings at the start and end of the journey. And Joe Bailey, who is on the Winchester Cathedral staff and recorded a short video reflection by Katie and me that he posted on the Cathedral's YouTube channel. The owners of Cathedral Cottage B&B in Winchester are lovely, warm-hearted people. I do hope that they manage to take their planned sailing holiday to Greece despite Covid. I encountered many walkers along the way, mostly laughing at this crazy guy with a loaded bike. But I only encountered four actual pilgrims, one of whom I identified because he was carrying Lee Hatt's Pilgrim's Way guidebook. Compared to the Camino de Santiago, this is largely a solitary pilgrimage, but this might be something many might actually enjoy. Finally moments. These are inevitably linked to places and people, but among those I have not mentioned yet, I was incredibly lucky to be able to visit the stunning Carmelite Priory in Aylesford, despite it being closed to the public for COVID, because access was granted to the TV crew. The most unnerving moment was just before Harjetsen, when I realized I had fallen off my bike and hit my head. I can't remember the fall, but thankfully I was okay. Then there were moments of introspection, riding in the middle of uh, the woods on the North Downs way. Flying the drone was always an interesting and a little bit stressful time due to my continuous fear of messing it up and crashing. And finally, at my destination, the blessing in Canterbury Cathedral at the spot on which Thomas Beckett was murdered, and the singing that Katie did there, filling the building with her wonderful voice. Or prosaically, you may be curious about stats and costs. I've put a spreadsheet together that is published with the blog post, but in brief, I rode 244 kilometers in four days, at an average speed of just over 13 kilometers an hour and with 3,300 meters of elevation gain. In total, I spent 290 pounds over four days, uh, plus a bit more for the nights before and after, averaging out at just under 80 pounds a day. I hope this provides you with a good introduction to the Pilgrim's Way and entices you to keep following the series of videos and blog posts that I will publish. I wish you all a buen camino and stay safe.